Hello there. Welcome back to another video in this uh, Unity Quest 2 series. And in this video, we're going to build a walkthrough app which we will make use of uh, one of the free 3D models uh, which is available and we will bring it to Unity and we will bring in this uh, XR Origins inside and we'll try to make it like a very simple visualization app for architectural designs. If you're not sure of what I'm talking about when I say XR origin, then I would suggest you to go ahead and watch the previous videos which I've posted in the same topic. So without further ado, let's get to the video. The first thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to try finding a model which will work for us. I'm going to use models from a website called CG Trader. Uh, CG Trader provides uh, both premium and free models. There are plenty of options for us to choose from. So I'm going to search for interior and obviously I'm going to choose the free in the filter right there. And we have quite a lot of uh, options here. So what I'm looking for right now is a model which is in the format of OBJ. Now there are few pointers which you need to remember that if you're trying to bring a CAD model, you need to convert it to keep it simple. There are other plugins which you can use and I would probably talk about it in uh, another video. But for now, what we need to do is we need to bring in a 3D model which is either in OBJ or uh, if it is uh, DXF, or any other format which is supported by unity so you a simple google search on what uh, model formats uh, unity supports will help us understand docs.unity says that we could bring in something like fbx or obj obj is one of the formats which has been used widely in the industry and you would find a lot of models in that specific format so I am going to use this model and I can see, so it is uh, done by the user Uthen89. So thanks a lot for the model. Uh, We're going to check what formats we have here. Uh, we have 3D Studio, Autodesk, FBX, IGES, Max, and we have OBJ. So that's something which we need. So let me go ahead and click on free download. You might be asked to sign in here at this stage. So go ahead, create an account if you don't have. If you have an account, make sure to sign in. This is one of the websites which you might fall back every now and then when you need some assets. So I would totally recommend it for anyone who is into uh, AR VR development or any 3D development for that matter. We can just go ahead and look for the 3D model OBJ and I'm going to click on the download. Okay, looks like it's done. I'm going to open it up, extract it. So this is the model which we saw. I'm going to double click to see and check to make sure that it is the one which we want. Yes, so I can see the, the bathroom. One problem which we might face, especially when we are downloading free models from the internet is that you might not have uh, the textures. Some might have, some might not have. So it totally depends on the modeler and whether they want to give it or not. So they might have it in the preview, but you might not find it along with the model. So make sure to keep your mind open and you can always experiment around the textures to get it looking even better than what it was. We have the model right here. So let's go ahead and jump into Unity. And so what I've done here is I've created a URP project uh, with a name walkthrough. And I've used URP for the reason that the rendering quality is going to be far superior than what a standard rendering is. And that is one of the crucial factor when it comes to architectural visualization. What I've done is I've removed the sample scene which comes with the URP. And what I've also done is to add all the packages which is required for this project to be a VR project. So in the package manager, 
you can find that I've added the XR interaction toolkit, XR plugin management, and I've added the open XR and I've added the Oculus XR plugin too. Now uh, to keep things in check again, all of these plugins, what I'm using right now is a little lower than what the latest one is. And I prefer doing that, why? Because the later, uh, the latest plugins sometimes don't work. So it's better to use the things which it works. And once you feel that there is a stable release from the developer, then it is advisable to use that. Now, this is the basic setup which I have. I have a URP scene. I have all the packages which are you know required for it to be a VR project, especially for Quest. Now let's go ahead and bring in the model. The first thing which I'm going to do is create a folder for my model. So models, M-O-D-E-L-S, oops, all right. So I like to keep it a little organized. So inside, inside the models, I'm going to import the one which we have downloaded. Uh, usually these uh, websites, they provide it in a zip format. So make sure to have something like a WinZip or WinRare, which, whichever is convenient for you, make sure to have that so that you can unzip these models and take it out. Now, the moment you have the model in extracted, you can just drag and drop it into the Unity project window and probably name it, rename it to, yeah, I think that's good. The moment I single click on it, I we can see a lot of uh, materials which needs to be taken care of here. So we will come to that in a moment. The first thing which we are going to do is we are going to create a cube. Now I'll tell you why we are doing this. We are creating a cube and we are going to set this cube's height to a standard building or a roof height. Now in India, the standard height would be say 10 feet. Now 10 feet would come somewhere around like 3.4, 3.4 meters or so. Now, why are we doing this is because these models, whenever we are downloading, whatever we are downloading from the internet uh, might not be at the right scale when you import them directly into the Unity. And it, it becomes a little challenging for us to keep the proportions in shape because you need to remember that when you are doing it in VR or when you are working with a VR project, you are literally putting that person into the scene. So if the scene is either bigger or smaller or even a little bit out of proportion, that is going to look really weird for the user. So in order for, uh, in order for us to overcome this problem, what we can do is probably create a dummy cube to the height of say, whatever the standard uh, ceiling height is, and then try to match the model's height visually so that it doesn't look really odd. So let's go ahead and do that. We have the cube here. Let me name it uh, dummy cube. And I am going to put the, I'm going to change the position to zero, zero, zero. And I am going to keep the scale as 3.43, which is the standard height. Let me do the math once. 3.048 so I'm going to use the same value here 3.048 okay and I am going to keep the okay all right so now we have the dummy cube set to an average height of the building now I'm going to bring in the model also inside and the moment I bring it up, you can see the model is pretty gigantic. So I'm going to scale it down and I'm going to try matching it with the height of the dummy cube. And when I mean height, it is literally the floor to ceiling height and not the entire height of the model because some models height might have extra things on top. So always try to visually match the roof to ceiling, like how you would measure if uh, measure, like how you would measure if you are standing right inside the room. 
if you want to do some accurate alignments you can actually change this to a orthographic yeah the flat view and that's that'll give you a 2d kind of view where you could actually go ahead and change things to match your requirement this is the base and this is the ceiling and we have the cube and we are set the next thing which i'm going to do is i am going to hide the dummy cube so that it doesn't bother us in the scene so let me click that take the check mark away i think this looks fine when you import the models usually they'll have a lot of sub components in it so each of these scenes or models are made up of multiple small models so it's basically a combination so if you look at this i can actually go ahead and select the bath tub if i can find it oh yeah there and i can actually move it around you know and probably position it somewhere else and now that is something which we are not going to do what we're going to do is we are going to texture these models <laughs> <laughs>